Hey, it's Lenny McGill with the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop right here in San Diego, California. You know my business, uh, I, I often see products that require more than just a picture in the catalog to get a full description and a full functionality. And that's why these videos are so helpful because um, uh, I get to tell you and you know, really to demonstrate how these items work. And one such item came by my desk the other day and I thought, wow, that's a, you know, a great item. And we popped on the website and we sold a whole bunch. And I haven't even done a video yet, so I know it's gonna be a very, very, very popular item. And this is it. It's an ankle holster with a kind of a new twist. Uh, it's called a bug bite holster of all things. And um, uh, it's a neoprene sleeve that you put on your leg, but they really engineered well in uh, many ways. And uh, I'm gonna show you some of the features that I think are pretty spectacular. Uh, first of all, you know, let's get right to the meat of it. It's got a, um, a, a pocket for a handgun. Obviously, that's what we're talking about. And the pocket is universal in a sense, uh, but it's designed to handle, you know, small and mid-sized handguns. So this is a Glock 42. And for the Glock 42 and 43, this thing is perfect because it can just bury itself on your leg. So uh, here goes the 42 into this pocket, and you'll see that it slips down all the way into it and basically holds it just like that. Now, you, you, know, you obviously, you're, you're starting to see the concept here. It's a, a soft, full sleeve, that gives full support, all right? So the 42, 43 just get buried in there. You'll, you'll almost forget you have it on. Uh, I'm gonna show you another gun here. This is my custom 27 that you've seen on some videos before. And I've got the X grip on the bottom there to give me a little larger grip. I've uh, stippled uh, the, um, uh, the frame a little bit there just for a little texture. Uh, I've got the uh, beaver tail uh, grip adapter on the back, kind of our custom double diamond uh, slide cover plate a low profile night sights, and the TLR6 on the front. Kind of make this an awesome little package because, uh, you know, I got the laser and light with the touch of a button. But uh, what I want to show you is that this entire package will also fit into this pouch. And that's what I like about it because it does fit lasers and lights. And a lot of guys are always have that question, well, does it fit a laser and light combo? And most holsters are no. This one is yes. So there you go, check it out. And again, that's actually with the X-Grip. So without the X-Grip, it would even be smaller and lower profile. And certainly that's what you want for an ankle holster. I just wanna show you that it will fit. Now, you know, my calves are moderately sized, not huge, not small. <laughs> I do do my leg work in the gym, uh, but um, uh, this thing is sized uh, based upon your calf measurement. And uh, you go to our website, you'll see that there's some different uh, 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 descriptions on the different sizes and where to measure your calf to get it a good idea of, of the size of it. And then later on here, I'll show you how it fits on my leg. Uh, this one is the uh, midsize, I believe it's the size C. And um, I wanna show you some of the features here. So basically there's the uh, little locker, uh, locking zipper. You open that guy up and we're gonna go ahead and unzip it and there's how it fits around. The reason I wanted to do that is because I wanna show you the inside has what they call these little sticky dots uh, kind of built into it. And this is, uh, you know, kind of a, a garment thing. Uh, these have a little texture, a little rubberized thing. Uh, there's silicone in a sense. And um, uh, it lines the entire unit. So that gives a little bit of grasp on your leg. Again, really well thought out, well executed, well designed, and well manufactured. Uh, of course, like I said, it's neoprene. It's kind of a stretchy, rubberized fabric. Uh, you know, people are going to say to themselves, well, is it hot? Well, yeah, it is hot. I mean, compared to not wearing one. But um, this is probably, I mean, without a doubt, the most comfortable ankle holster I've ever worn. So we'll zip that back up, lock that in there. Now, this is the gun side. This is the offside or the outside. So you'd wear this, again, I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna wear it on my left leg so the gun's on the inside. Because you typically don't want the gun on the outside because it would get a little bulky. Uh, you can do that, but you know most people you know, have learned over the years you wanna wear it on the inside leg. And I'm gonna show you that again as we, uh, once we put this on. There's an offside pocket too that will take a spare magazine. And so there's a uh, Glock 42 mag with a plus one extension on the bottom. And so it just slips right in. And of course, if it didn't have the plus one, it would just bury itself right in there. And it will take um, a 26 mag as well, or a 27, or a, even a 19 mag. And a 19 will fit in this uh, particular uh, pouch as well. I don't know about the 21s uh, or the uh, 17s. I mean, the 17 will fit, but that's a really big gun to carry on your ankle. 
So, you know, it, you know be practical when you think about an ankle holster. Uh, they're designed for smaller guns because you really don't want to have a big, big gun on your ankle. It's hard to conceal, and it's also hard to walk after a while, you know. So you really want one of these smaller guns to be able to do that. The other feature that they did is they put a, um, a tightening strap on the top here. So that it uh, can be tightened down on your thigh, or excuse me, your, uh, your your calf, depending upon how big your calf is. So no one's, you know, they can't do it for everybody. So they uh, put this adjustable strap on here, which makes a lot of sense because it gives you the latitude to tighten it up just as much as you want. And of course, you never want it to be too tight because you don't want to cut the circulation off. But um, it, th this thing is just phenomenal. And we've sold a bunch of them already. A lot of uh, very positive comments, a lot of very happy people. I, I think you're going to be happy with it too if you're looking for an ankle holster or looking for another way to carry. Uh, and that's really what this is all about. So why don't we go ahead now? I'm going to go ahead and uh, get rid of this table and we'll show you what it looks like on the leg and uh, talk about some drawing techniques as well. Okay, I've got the bug bite holster on. Which leg? Well, can you tell? Not really. You know, and the nice thing is that, you know, it's, it's lightweight, it's comfortable, but it really secures the gun close to your leg. Now, you know I'm right-handed, so I'm wearing it on the inside of my left leg. If you're left-handed, order the left-hand model, you'll wear it on the inside of your right leg. The um, draw technique, now again, all concealed carry draws are not really fast. So you want to be smooth, you want to be comfortable, you want to be proficient, but you also want to practice before you go out on the range with a dry weapon at home. So I've got it on, and uh, you know, I've played with uh, concealed carry holsters, concealed carry holsters for many years, ankle holsters in particular. And the technique that I like is two. There's one that if you have a step, a chair, or something to put your leg up on, obviously come up, grab the, the, uh, the pants, and pull up. Now you'll notice you're not going to get away with this holster with your skinny jeans on. Okay, these are a full 16 inch uh, leg opening. Once you clear the clothing, then you get a grip, come up and deploy the gun and go. So I'll go ahead and I'll bury it again. Kind of talk about that one more time. Again, see something you need to do, come up. Come up with a way to get the clothes out of the way first. That's your first objective. Then go for the grip and start to look for your, def you know, your, your adversary and go with the gun. And we'll put it away one more time. Now the other technique is a little bit more athletic and takes a little bit more practice in a sense. So once you get it all done, basically come up, bring your leg up, get a hold of the pants, pull them up and then come down and go. So the key factor is to clear the clothing first. So again, we bring the leg up, grab the clothes, down, grab the gun and go. And either one of those will work for you. None of them are particularly fast, but again, concealed carry is not about speed. It's about awareness. Do you have the awareness to know that, uh-oh, it's time to go ahead, access the gun, and then do something, okay? Always remember when you draw, you keep that finger out of the trigger guard area. Let's take a look a little bit more at this holster. You notice again that I've got the small gun because that's the one that kind of fits on my body best. I can put a larger gun in here, but you know, my legs are not that huge. So be realistic about what you want to carry and how you want to carry it. The other thing I noticed about this is this would be a great holster for a wallet or credit cards or cash because it's so darn comfortable. All right, so there's the gun off of it. Remember, there's an outside pouch over here. You can put a knife in there or put a spare magazine. You can tighten this down as much as you want. It's got a zipper on this side. So, I, you know, I'm telling you, this is uh, probably... Like I said, the best designed ankle holster that I've seen. I've seen a lot of them. Well, basically I've seen all of them. <laughs> so there we go. It's the Bug by Ankle Holster. I'm Lenny McGill. This is the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time.